In this video, let us again continue solving problems on similarity of triangles. Here we've got a question which reads like this. The given figures, that is triangles ABC and triangles FEG, CD and GH respectively, the medians of triangle ABC and triangle EFG. So if triangle ABC is similar to triangle FEG, we need to prove these three things. We need to prove that the triangle ADC is similar to triangle FHG and then we have to prove that CD by GH, CD by GH equals AB by FE and then we have to prove that triangle CDB is similar to triangle GHE. But before we get into the similarity part of the triangles, let us quickly brush up the term median. What is the median of a triangle? Median of a triangle is nothing but line segment joining the vertex of a triangle and midpoint of the opposing side so this is called as the median of a triangle so why is this important well it is important to establish a couple of facts here now since it joins the vertex and the midpoint of the opposing side right so ad and de are going to be equal and fh and he are going to be equal of course it doesn't look equal but it's not accurate it's just a representation so if you use the proper instruments in geometry, you will get it properly. So AD is equal to BD and FH is equal to EH, right? So this is what the median does. It divides the opposite side. It bisects the opposite side of the vertex from which it comes from. So now that's that. So now because of that, let us establish for because of the medians present here, we can write that 2AD equal to AB. Right, 2 times AD is equal to full length AB and 2FH equals FE. That is for this triangle, 2FH equals FE. So now before we get into the solving part of the problem, let us quickly, you know, briefly see how are we going to solve this problem. Well, this problem is definitely going to be solved by using one of the three properties of the similarity of triangles you know one of the criterions that we've learned out of the three criterions that is one is the side 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 criterion one is the angle 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 criterion one more is the side angle side criterion so we definitely have to use one of those so the first one is triangle adc should be proved similar to triangle fhg so in this case Another very important fact is that we've already got the data which says triangle ABC is similar to triangle FEG, right? So the bigger triangle, the triangle ABC and triangle FEG are similar to each other. So because of that, what we can establish here is that we can say, therefore, since triangle ABC is similar to triangle FEG, we can say that AB, right, AB by FE is going to be equal to AC by FG is going to be equal to BC and angle A equals to angle F, angle B equals to angle E and angle C equal to angle G. These are the established data because of the given data. These are the established points. So what we can do because this is going to make it a lot more easier for us to solve this problem. So now what we can do is we can replace this fraction or this ratio that is AB by FE by 2AD because that's what we've written here. 2AD equals AB and 2FH equals FE. So 2AD by 2FH equals AC by FG equals BC by EG. 2 and 2 will get cancelled, so we can write it as AD by FH equals AC by FG equals BC by EG. So we've also got this one. Now, once we've established these things, now let us start looking into these triangles. Now, let's look into the first one. Let's take the triangles ADC and triangle FHG. 
so we already have in triangles ADC and FHG AD by FH here it is equals AC by FG right and also we've got angle A equal to angle F that is from here right so we've got a pair of corresponding sides to be similar to each other that is the ratios are equal and then we've got the included angles to be equal to each other so therefore by the SAS criterion we can definitely prove that triangle ADC is similar to triangle FHG so the first one is done now let us look into the second part of the problem let me repeat this again we've got two pairs of corresponding sides to be similar to each other and then we've got one angle so this is one of the criterions that we did for the similarity of triangles that is nothing but side angle side criterion so therefore we can definitely say that triangle ADC is similar to triangle FHG so now let us look into the second part that is we need to prove CD by GH CD by GH equals AB by FE so what are we going to do here now we've got triangles ADC similar to triangle FHG the reason we are taking these triangles is that whatever we have to prove you know the sides are there only in this triangle so from this triangle since it's similar to each other we proved that it is similar to each other we can definitely say that DC by HG equals DC by HG equals AD by FH so now let us write DC and HG as CD and GH doesn't matter if you write it as DC and HG now let us write this as 2 AD by 2 FH it doesn't make a difference because 2 and 2 gets cancelled we get back AD and FH but the reason we are actually doing this is we've got 2 AD equals AB and we've got 2 FH equals FE that's how we can get back to this one we can get CD by GH is done we just need to get AB by F so to get AB by FE we've already you know proved that 2 AD equals AB and 2 FH equals FE that's why we are writing 2 here so because of this we can easily get CD by GH equals AB by FE AB by FE is what we needed and hence we proved even this so the second one is done as well so we've got the first one we've also proved the second one and all we've got left is the third part so as far as the third part is concerned, we've got AB by FE equals AC by FG equals BC by EG. We've got this because of this data that is triangle ABC is similar to triangle FEG. Now also we've got CD by GH equals AB by FE. That is we just proved that now right so now therefore now since AB by FE equals to CD by GH and also these two things we can write CD by GH equal to BC by EG the reason I'm taking specifically BC by EG is that we are dealing with the triangles that has them that's why and again we have AB by FE equals AC by FG equals BC by EG. So we can write AB by FE as 2DB because we know that D is the midpoint of AB and H is the midpoint of FE. So we can write it as 2DB by 2HE. This equals BC by EG. The reason I'm taking only this is because we've already proved CD by GH equals to BC by EG. Now we are proving that 2 DB by 2 HE equals BC by EG. Right, the 2 and 2 gets cancelled, therefore DB by HE equals BC by EG. Now let's take this as equation 1 and let's take this as equation 2. Now let's compare 1 and 2. We've got BC by EG equal to CD by GH and also we've got BC by EG equal to DB by HE. The reason we are considering these is because if we can prove that the corresponding sides, the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal, then definitely those two triangles are going to be similar. So that's why we're taking those particular sides and the sides that are present in these triangles. So because of 1 and 2, we can say that CD by GH 
equals BC by EG equals DB by HE, right? Because BC by EG is equal to both CD by GH and DB by HE. Therefore, we can write this as one thing. Once we can establish this, we can see that CD by GH. CD by GH equals BC by EG equals DB by HE. So this definitely proves that triangle CDB is similar to triangle GHE. So this concludes this problem and it also concludes this video. So it is nothing but the application of the properties of the similarity of triangles or in fact the criterion for the similarity of triangles. You just have to use that. And before I end, let me tell you the reason that we've chosen certain sites, say for example BC by EG and all those things is because it depends on what are the triangles we are dealing with. That is where because only if we can get those sides in here, we can prove that this triangle is similar to that triangle. We just can't get some ratio. We can't get AC and FG. AC and FG belongs to this triangle ACD. Right? So we simply can't take that. And AB and FE was written as 2DB and 2HE, but not as 2AD and 2FH is because we are considering the triangles CDB and GHE, not the triangles ADC and FHG. So these are the little things that maybe if somebody do not know out there, well, these are the things that is. For those who know, well, I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on similarity of triangles.